It is uh, time for Tiger Time once again, and uh, Scott Jensen is here with us, the Executive Director of Secondary Operations. Welcome. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Uh, a little surprise this morning weather-wise, but uh, yeah, school continues. You're right. Definitely spring sports have started. It seems <laughs> like every year you can gauge it by the weather, and this is what it's like. So. Yeah, it starts off. It's usually starting off pretty well, and uh, hopefully there won't be any shoveling at the track, right? <laughs> I, I think Mr. Anderson has people all lined up if it needs to get done, so I, it's, good. it's all good. Oh, Scott Anderson also with us, uh, Fremont High uh, Assistant Principal and Activities Director for Spring Sports, and uh, we have Kevin. Kelly Flynn with us once again, the varsity girls basketball coach and a PE instructor at Fremont High, along with Taylor McCabe. So still some excitement in the air from uh, just, let's see, was that 10 days ago? They probably know the hours. I figured once I heard you say it was National Goof Off Day, I figured I better bring in Coach Flynn. Oh. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh man well i i did attend the championship game so i i know when we talked earlier uh, we talked about maybe maybe being a bad luck charm because yeah. i came to that lincoln high game at home right. and um uh, you said no. It was okay. You can still come. Uh, you can still come to the games, and so you just yeah. have to give him permission. Yeah, yes. because yeah. that's what that permission. was the key. That yes. was it. We like that second Lincoln High game a lot better. Way oh, yeah. better. Yeah. Way better. That's for sure. Well, congratulations. We get to say it in person yes. today. Yes. Uh, state champions and just a load of fun. Oh my gosh, that championship Great games. game. Mm -hmm. uh, as you look back at it and reflect on the game, uh, maybe just talk about the emotions you go through. I, yeah, just that, that whole week, the, the emotions, uh, you know, getting there and, and having the expectations to, to win it after getting to the, the finals last year and coming up short, we really, really did have that set as a goal all year long. And uh, we've talked before about how it couldn't have been a better setup with uh, opportunity to play Pius again, who we had played in the state championship the year before we had split with during the season. So just a big first round matchup. And, and then like we were just talking about the Lincoln High game, the game that the second loss that we had this year to to, to get an opportunity to play them again in the semifinals. And, and this time we didn't let the 20-point lead slip away and, and, and beat them by 20. So that was really, really fun. I think it gave us a lot of confidence going into the state championship and then have an opportunity to play another hack team uh, with Lincoln Southwest, a team that we had played twice. And everybody talking about how difficult it would be to beat them three times. But uh, mm -hmm. these girls just uh, – did a great job and, and came through at the end. It was really exciting, and the community was was behind us and the student body. It was just a fun atmosphere. Yeah, the championship game was a lot of fun. A lot of folks from Fremont there uh, cheering you on and uh, just watching that game. Mm -hmm. And uh, Taylor McCabe also with us, uh, senior for Fremont High. Uh, maybe talk about your experience for through the three games and how, uh, how things went for you. Yeah, you know, the whole week was definitely high intensity. We were all ready to go. This is what we'd prepared for the whole season. And I think that there was a lot of focus between everyone on the team and just, you know, having that senior leadership especially. We'd been there before so many times. We could kind of calm down the younger girls. And then uh, once game time came, we were just ready to play. And I think we definitely showed that. You know, we put up some scores that – people saw and they were like, oh, this could be, this could be <laughs> kind of crazy. And then, you know, obviously that didn't happen in the championship game, but I thought that we battled and that was definitely what mattered at that time. And we pulled it out. So, yeah. Yeah. What was coach saying in that championship game? Just stick with the plan <laughs> or? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, three day, three games in in one week, you know, your legs are going to be a little tired and you could tell they were too. And we're more of a shooting team. So that probably affects us more. But, you know, we were just like, okay, we're going to have to guard. We're going to have to keep guarding now. And truthfully, I mean, Lincoln Southwest's strength was their defense. We mm -hmm. had to outplay them at their own game. So the fact that we did is pretty impressive. It was a pretty intense game. Um, I was watching from up above and just watching the patterns on the floor. And, Coach, it was. It was uh, it was a battle, wasn't it? Yes, it really was. I mean, every, every basket was a hard-earned one. It wasn't uh, just an un contested look or anything like that like some of the some of the games this season that was you had to work for every single point yeah it seemed like uh, your defense really came to life in the second quarter uh, I think they scored what two points four points in the quarter yeah they yeah uh, I know I, we went on like a 12-2 run or something like that at the end it was it was a great way to finish the so the season I know that a great way to finish a state championship yeah that second quarter uh, Taylor you uh, you scored quite a few points in that second quarter and into the uh, the end of the game didn't end up where you actually saw the ball much at the very end all of a sudden uh, somebody else is open and hits a shot but boy you pulled the team 
in that second quarter. And uh, did you just have a feeling that uh, things were coming together in the second quarter? Yeah, you know, I always, I mean, people always tell me that I look ter- determined when I play. I look super serious, <laughs> and I wasn't going down without a fight. I wasn't going down at all. So yeah, <laughs> was, for we sure. Not, we did not come to lose that day. Um, and, you know, I was kind of fired up just because nobody picked us to win that game for some, and I was shocked at that. And so, you know, just going to that game, I I knew it. once after the first quarter we were down, I was like, all right, this, this test had changed real quick. And so then – once we developed our lead, and I knew that they weren't going to let me get the ball at the end, but I had that trust in my teammates to take care of it and finish the job off, and they did that. So that's what matters. It's yeah, they had a big girl in the middle, and Macy did a nice job. Uh, got into a little bit of foul trouble early, but did a nice job down the stretch there. Yeah, yes, absolutely. yeah, you talked about Taylor in that second quarter, and she really did take over, and actually the third quarter also. She had all of her points in the mm-hmm. second and third quarter, and and then in that fourth quarter, that was one thing we did want to try to do is try to establish a little bit of that inside game. And, and Macy Bryant got the big three-point play, and then the next time uh, gave the, the fake and drove by the girl and, and finished. And and then McKenna Murphy hit the big three, that uh, uh, an assist from Bella Keaton, and, and put us ahead for the first time. And you could just really kind of feel it at that time. And then, and then some big free throws down the stretch. I mean, mm-hmm. watching this March Madness right now and seeing – Oh Even college players miss free throws down the stretch, and people go, eh, you know, it's an uncontested free throw, but they don't know how much pressure that is. And for Macy and, and McKenna both to hit some some big ones down the stretch there to, to give us that cushion was was huge. Yeah. A fun season, huh? Yeah, it was definitely <laughs> Good way to go out. That's yeah. right. Oh, my gosh, yeah. And Fremont definitely – uh, had a lot of fun with you along the way. That's for sure. That was uh, all was the a girls. Blast. I mean, they've all yeah. been together for so many years, and that's so great. Now, where are you going to go to college in the fall? I'm going to the University of Iowa. Oh, oh, so that's why you gave her a hard time about yeah, Iowa. Was, uh, just a little. Oh, was, well, now uh, that they're yeah. now she'll be on the team. They'll they win. Need her. <laughs> that's right. They, they, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they need her out there. So <laughs> yeah, looking forward to it. It'll be good. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you're a heck of a shooter, but defensive wise, boy, uh, coach, talk a little bit about her defense too. Yeah, I had an opportunity to talk yesterday with the. the Lincoln Journal Star and the Omaha World Herald, because that's another thing. Taylor will be uh, named the uh, All-State Super State this week, wow. coming up this weekend, and was named Gatorade Player of the Year. And and we did. We talked about how the the points and the three pointers, you know, that those make the headlines, especially when you're the career leader. And but we talked about her defense, and and they really talked about at the state tournament with the, like a Williams, who's also an All-Stater, and and yet Taylor just totally contained her after mm-hmm. she scored 24 in a game earlier, and you know. It's, it's one of those statistics that don't show up, but it's something that you really, really need. And that was something I was really, really proud of our, all of our girls. Um, they really bought into the defensive system and, and, uh, and really, really played it well. And, and Taylor starts it right at the top and, and usually stops their best player. Yeah. Uh, now, you've won a few more championships than just here. So uh, is there some sort of a, a recipe that you put together? Well, I talked to Coach Jensen quite a bit because he won quite a few at WEs <laughs> yeah, too. Yeah, <but>. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just been fun. It's, re- it's really been a fun journey with these guys. And, and uh, I just can't say enough about this group of uh, seniors that we're going to say goodbye to because there's six of them, and that doesn't happen a lot of times. But mm-hmm. They've been a really, really special group. But we're really, really excited about the young ones that are coming up too because we think we've got some – some good basketball players and some really, really hard workers and just great kids. So we're looking forward to getting started again. Uh, all of them are pretty much involved either in track right now or, or, or soccer or tennis. But uh, when the, those seasons end, we're going to crank it up again this summer. Well, and uh, I know there was a there was an article that was written by one of the World Herald writers that said that, you know, this is a little bit of a process. You don't just mm-hmm. come in and win a championship, do you? This took a little while. <laughs> Yeah, and they took a, a, an extra step each each year and, and mm-hmm. came back with a, a, a big goal and, and and came really, really close every year. And, and this year to, to accomplish it, it was, it was just a great feeling. Yeah, that was great. And uh, congratulations again. Coach Flynn talked a little bit about Gatorade Player of the Year for uh, Taylor and just wanted to expound on that a little bit, but what a special honor that is. You mm-hmm. know, over 